This video is sponsored by Squarespace. How's it going guys? Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net and welcome to this new series formerly called Dojo TV. I'm not really sure what to call it anymore or how to rebrand this thing, but basically it's going to be a show where I talk about all things filmmaking, visual effects, motion graphics, motion design, pretty much all things that matter to us as artists and designers and filmmakers. So it's going to be a place where I can just talk about new things that are going on in the industry, new things coming out, and just pretty much all things new. So pretty cool place to chill. Welcome to the show and um, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is a shameless plug from the dojo. Basically, we created a new product and released it this week. It's called the Light Glow Pack. It's going to be a pack of 28 4K light leaks, light elements. So it's going to be produced, shot in 4K, filmed in 4K. So it's not going to be digital. Really cool stuff you can use in your motion design, your film. So pretty cool stuff. And it's going to be on sale for a limited time. So check it out over at creativedojo.net. So with that stuff out of the way, I want to talk about something that just recently came out that's really, really, you know, causing a lot of disruption right now. And it's called Stardust. And basically it's an After Effects plugin, so I know you guys are probably thinking, okay, another After Effects plugin. I've covered so many After Effects plugins the past few years, you know, why it's just different. And it's because it's going to be a particle system, and we haven't seen a particle system in After Effects in a very long time. You know, there has been Plexus, but Plexus kind of has the same overall look. People use Plexus for kind of the same thing, and it's not, it's not very versatile. Um, and you have Particular that's been out for quite a long time. And Stardust, I think, is going to be going to be a huge, huge killer and huge competition for Particular, just because it's so versatile and it's a full-fledged particle system. But you're going to have some basic node support, which is very cool if you're familiar with nodes and how to work with the nodes. And also, it is modular, so it's kind of like a hybrid between Chefco Particular, the modular, you know, workflow of Plexus, and a little bit of the features of X Particles in Cinema 4D here. So like I said before, it's a modular slash node-based workflow. So it's very, very cool, very powerful. They have something called the Replica Module, which is a huge strong point in Stardust. Basically, it's the auxiliary you know, features of particular on steroids. Lots and lots of features, and this is the heart of Stardust, I think. Um, they have a lot of deformers, so stuff like sphere, box, you can twist things and you know create black holes and stuff like that. So a lot more kind of forces and fields compared to you know just particular turbulence. There's a lot of things like spline and path support. You can emit stuff from live text. There are like literally tons of presets. And the best part is because it's modular, you can actually create a lot of particle systems within the single After Effects layer. And it's all in the same uniform 3D space. So you know how After Effects kind of limits plugins from interacting with each other with the same 3D space. This kind of tries to overcome this flaw and kind of just allows you to create a lot of particle systems within the same unified 3D space because it's in the same layer, the same plugin. So it's very, very cool. And I think that once you guys give this a try, it's going to be a very, very powerful competitor to Chuck in particular. I've been playing with Stardust for a few months now. I think it's very, very powerful. Um, you can check it out over at ascripts.com. So check it out. So the next set of news is actually for those who are really into visual effects and compositing and 3D modeling. And that is Houdini 16 was just recently released. There's a lot of new features such as the improved user experience with new node networks and radio menus. There are new tools for modeling such as the Boolean tools, smooth and polyfill tools. Um, there's improvements to the terrain generation, new shader building workflows that allow for layer mixing and quick access to procedural texturing stuff. And some new things that caught my eye are the new character animation tools that allow you to pretty much auto rig and adjust with the muscles and the flesh and stuff like that. That stuff is really, really cool. And it's a huge improvement to the modeling features or the character animation improvements to Houdini 16. Really great stuff. There's also a new Infinite Ocean architecture and some improvements with the fur and hair module, stuff like that. So pretty cool stuff. I don't use Houdini 16 actually, but I want to learn it. It's very, very powerful. I know it's industry standard for a lot of you know game development and movie stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. So if you're a Houdini user, go and check out the update. Pretty expensive, but you know, it's a very, very powerful tool. So before we continue, I want to go ahead and thank our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform that makes it very easy to create beautiful websites for your store, online business, or portfolio. They make it very easy to build and customize your themes, tons of themes to choose from, and they have a beautiful live editor that allows you to pretty much edit and modify the theme just the way you want it to look like. No coding experience required. It's very affordable. They have the best 24-hour support. And best of all, you can save 10% off your order by using the promo code DOJO at checkout. So check it out, squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, everything you need to create an awesome website. So as filmmakers, you guys are probably noticing that VR is pretty much prominent everywhere on the web now. Everyone's filming everything in VR, and as filmmakers, you guys are probably going to be introducing yourself to VR in your workflows. And a lot of people have been using Skybox uh, by Metal for a few years now. And so Imaginary Systems, the creators of Mocha, have created a new kind of VR tool for themselves as well. And as you guessed it, it's called Mocha VR. 
And basically, it's just Mocha Pro with additional features for VR, so stuff like unwarping and distorting the images for you know the equal rectangular stuff like that. So basically, it's Mocha. You have the standalone application Mocha VR, which is very very expensive, and then you have the plugins for your After Effects, Premiere, Nuke, Fusion, stuff like that. That pretty much open the application from the plugin host only. And so, you know, you know, all the pricing will be down in the description down below. But basically, it is Mocha with additional features for VR. The next set of news is actually targeted towards a lot of Windows users, and that is bringing ProRes encoding into the Windows platform. So as you guys know, Windows can decode ProRes files from cameras and stuff like that, but you guys can't really encode and create ProRes files on the Windows machine. It is kind of like a Mac proprietary stuff. Um, but now there are companies and, you know, stuff like that. I mean, there have been efforts to, you know, bring ProRes encoding to Windows before, previously using kind of modified ProRes. Um, but again, now we have a new alternative, which seems very, very, very interesting. And it's called ProRes for Windows. Basically, it allows you to create and encode 422 and 444 10-bit files up to 6K. And of course, you have all your major hosts like After Effects, Premiere, you know, all those NLEs out there. So pretty cool. So if you're really interested into ProRes and encoding in ProRes, you know, check it out. Now, our last bit of news involves Vimeo. Recently, they released their new Premiere panel. Of course, everyone is releasing Premiere panels and After Effects extension panels nowadays. It's a new thing to do now if you're creating software. But basically, it's a place where you can pretty much just upload your files and your videos into Vimeo directly. So instead of you know, going to the Vimeo website, you can just, you know, export your video directly to Vimeo using their extension. So nothing revolutionary here, but, you know, if you're a Vimeo user, this can be uh, pretty handy to you if you use Vimeo. And if you're a pro and business member, you can actually share your video review pages from the Premiere panel itself, so you don't have to go to the website anymore. And if you guys aren't familiar with Vimeo's review pages, basically it's kind of like a very simplified version of Webster. Basically where clients can pretty much review your footage, annotate it, and draw on it and stuff like that. So it's kind of like Vimeo's version on Webster. So, you know, another news to talk about. So check it out over at Vimeo. And again, all the links I talked about in this video will be in the description down below. But that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. I know this has kind of been kind of rough. I know I talk very fast. You guys are always like, Vin, slow down, slow down. You talk too fast. You know, I'm kind of new to this whole talking to the camera thing. I kind of have like a basic script. And, you know, I've, I've done so many rehearsals. So I just naturally tend to talk very fast, but I'll try to slow it down. But basically, this is gonna be the first reboot of the show. Um, there'll be an intro, branding, all that stuff coming soon, sponsors and all that stuff coming soon as well. But um, let me know what you guys wanna see in these kind of shows. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing right? You know, what do you wanna see? And what should I add to the show? But that's pretty much it for this episode of Dojo TV or whatever it's called now. My name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.